Hello everyone. Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. It has been a minute. Yes, God is good. God is good. I am recuperating. God is restoring. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. But something, uh, I had an epiphany just now. Um, God was saying that when people do you wrong, they actually point you in the right direction. I'm going to say that again. God God, when people do you wrong, they actually point you in the right direction. I say, God, that's good. Think about it. Romans 8, 28 said the good and the bad works together for those that love the Lord and are called according to his righteousness. So you, you got to calm down sometimes when things happen. You know, sometimes we panic. Sometimes we get upset. Sometimes we say some things. Sometimes we do some things. Y'all know it's true. But if you calm down, God will say, wait a minute. Remember Pharaoh. Come on, somebody. Remember Saul. Come on, somebody. Remember. Remember. Judas, God used, God let them do what they had to do. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. You see, the enemy going to do what he have to do and God will allow it. I'm going to say that again. And God will allow it, but hold on because guess what? There's victory in the end. I'm going to say it again. There's victory in the end. Sometimes things happen and we like, why God? I don't understand God, blah, blah, blah. Y'all know how we do it sometimes, but I've learned and I am learning. Come on somebody. Cause as long as you on this earth, I don't care how I've been with God 25 years walking. Come on somebody somebody hallelujah and I'm still learning I'm still processing oh come on somebody I feel the power of the Holy Ghost on me hallelujah and I'm telling you what he said tonight he said when people do you wrong that is just a right path that I'm actually allowing you to go on oh come on somebody so even when they do you wrong I'm putting that in your spirit God is about to do you right because you're thinking it was wrong, but God was blocking it. Oh, come on, somebody. Somebody write in the comments, God blocked it. I'm going to say it again. God blocked it. You wanted it, but God blocked it. It could have been a job. It could have been a marriage. It could have been this. It could have been that. God said, I got better for you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because we, we be tripping. Y'all know we be tripping. We want this. We want that. Y'all know we want, we want a gumbo. Y'all know I'm a chef. I'm going to throw something in there like that. But sometimes you got to sit back and say, wait a minute, wait a minute. Not my will, but the Lord's will. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to get up on here and encourage you. And as I encourage you, I encourage me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I'm not going to lie. Y'all know I'm very transparent. This week was, ooh. I don't know what went down this week. I don't know what the enemy tried to do. No, no, no. I'm going to keep it real. A hundred. But see, I didn't want to, I didn't want to incorporate this in that though, but I guess God is doing that. I was going to do another video when I get better, you know, but that's all right. I'm going to let it flow now. God said the enemy tries to kill you in the process. Oh, come on somebody. I'm going to tell you what they tried to do to me this week. I'm telling you, I, I, woo, that's all I can say. I can't even talk about it. That's how real it was. And, and I remember just praying and praying and praying. God said, Deanna, the enemy is trying to kill you in the process. What is the process? The process of promotion. Oh, come on, somebody. The process of anointing. Oh, come on, somebody. New lover, new devil. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said, I'm raising you up. Hallelujah. So the enemy is giving it all he got. But guess what? All he doing as iron sharpens iron, I'm letting him get you, get you ready for your next level. Oh, come on, somebody. The enemy think that you're going to fall. The enemy think that you're going to fail. The enemy think that you're going to falter. The enemy think that he's going to stop you. He can't stop you, saying the Lord. Hallelujah. He can't stop. He can't kill what God have anointed to live, make live. Oh, come on, somebody. You know, one thing about Jesus, he didn't say much when he was ministering, but I tell you, it, it, he said, restore. He said, live. Oh, come on, somebody. That's what he said, paraphrasing it. Every time he healed somebody, he said, live. Oh, come on, somebody. He said, live. Oh, come on, somebody. He said, live. You should live and not die. Come on, somebody. And we're talking about in a spiritual form as well as a physical form. The enemy tries to kill us every day of our life. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. It's, I'm talking about to the anointed ones. I'm talking to the appointed ones. I'm talking to the ones that understand exactly what I'm saying tonight. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Sometimes the enemy hits you so hard, you don't know what's going on. You'll be like, whoa, what happened here? It'll make you back back and give yourself 50 feet. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. However, we got a God that loves us. However, we got a God that said, I'll never leave you or forsake you. However, we got a God that'll keep you. However, we got a God that say, I am with you and I'll be an enemy to your enemies and a friend to your friends. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I just said up in here. The enemy tries to kill you through the process because he don't want you to get to that level. But what he don't understand is he can't stop you because God has anointed you to live. I said it again. God has anointed you to live. I say God has anointed you to live and you should not die. Hallelujah. He never said it wasn't going was to be easy. He never said that. But what he did says, I'll be with you. Lord, always into death. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah.
So I just wanted to get up on here because I, God is restoring me. Oh, I know you feel it. Come on, somebody, because I feel it too. But this week, I didn't understand. I said, God, what's going on? I mean, huh, I can't even talk about it. That's how deep it was. I was like, whoa, what, 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 what? what? However, I knew how to call on the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody. I know how to decree and declare. I know that I have all authority. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You hit, but now I'm even lit. Oh, come on, somebody. Devil, you hit me, but now I'm even lit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because that's what God does. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. He purges us. Oh, come on. Somebody, the devil, you were supposed to hit me in that spot so I could cleanse it. Oh, come on, somebody. I hope somebody feel me tonight. God allow hits so it can, you can get cleansed and purified even more so. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It ain't, it ain't never for nothing. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So sometimes you just got to say, thank you, Jesus. I don't understand it, but thank you, Jesus. It hit me hard, but thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to his name. So I'm going to get up off of here. I just want to decree and declare and I guess testify. Didn't know I was going to do all that, but you know how God do it. Woo, hallelujah. So God bless you and I'll be back. Oh, trust me. I never left, but I, I know how to do what God said. God said, I, I need you to chill out. I, I, I need you to back up because I need to talk to you. I need to strengthen you. I need to keep you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Some of y'all keep trying to force stuff. Oh, hallelujah. But when God said back up, guess what? He got a bigger plan, a better plan. He, oh, come on, somebody. He's molding you. Oh, hallelujah. He's getting you ready. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. See, that's why a lot of pastors, preachers, leaders, and people fall because they keep going. They keep going. They keep going. You must submit when God say back up. Because there's something he see ahead that the enemy is trying to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he prepares you. Oh, come on, somebody. God says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You know what knowledge is? Wisdom, discernment, choices. Come on, somebody. Learning how to stop when God says stop and start when he says start. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Obedience. Oh, come on, somebody. The Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. So you could fast all day long. But if you don't obey, come on, somebody. There it goes again. Fast, pray, obey. I've been hearing that for months. Fast, pray, obey. So when I get back up on here next week, um, I have a lot. Y'all know I have a lot of information. I'm full. I'm full. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. I love you all through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you for those that prayed that had a prayer life. Because uh, <laughs> I ain't even good. Y'all know I'm back. I'm about to say something, right? All right. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.